I'm gonna head over to the car, which you guys would love. You'll be surprised, like this car is something else. So stay tuned and I can't wait for you to see the car. This video is gonna be a little bit different than the usual videos. On Tuesdays, as you guys know from my previous video, if you haven't watched it, make sure you watch it. I usually have classes on Tuesday, but today I'm gonna to be spending it visiting a company called Cummins. The reason I'm visiting that company is because I am partnered with a sales coach for my sales class. And this sales coach is giving me tips and advice because at the end of my sales class, I have this project where instead of submitting something, I'm actually gonna meet up face to face with someone, a judge, and I'm gonna to try to sell him a product. And this product that I'm selling is what my sales coach is selling. So every student in the sales class is going to be selling what his sales coach sells. In my case, I'm going to be selling a power generator maintenance service. So power generators, for those of you who don't know, are basically devices that are kind of like backups to electricity. So you know how every building is powered by electricity, but if the electricity goes down, you usually have power generators as a backup. So power generators, in essence, act like a power source to buildings, cars, whatever it is. So Cummins, which is the company my sales coach works at, does that. I think they also um, produce engines for cars and different things, like they're a huge company. But today I'm gonna go and visit them and meet up with my sales coach. It's like a field trip. I'm gonna be driving there, so I'll take you through that trip and I'll take you through, hopefully they allow me to film inside. Uh, we're gonna be going to the headquarters, so I think it'll be very interesting for you guys to see the interior of it. As you guys see, I just woke up, my hair is a mess. I'm on my bed, I, I haven't made it yet. So I have a few things to get done before I head out and I guess you guys will be updated on every step of the way. See you there. Looking fresh, feeling fresh. Uh, for those of you, by the way, who asked about uh, how my interview went, they just sent me an email, I didn't make it through. I'm really not bothered by it. I'm not gonna let it stop me from enjoying my day. I had like a day to prepare for it, so I'm not surprised, honestly. And I uh, just wanted to give you an idea of what my breakfast is gonna be like today. So these guys should probably sponsor me. Belvita and Cliff. Yeah, this is a bit too much for breakfast for me. I usually don't eat anything for breakfast because I just I just got used to not eating anything for breakfast. So I'm just doing this because I don't know when I'm gonna be having lunch. I should be having lunch with my sales coach. I'm not sure exactly what time and I have a water bottle with me. And with that, I think I'm set. You guys are not ready to see this. You guys ready? Boom. Look at this. I was a little, a little bit exaggerating. Let me, let me show you a different view from the front. So this is the car I'm going to be driving to uh, the headquarters. It's a zip car. Let's, let's unlock it and see how it is from the inside. Okay. There we go. It's a, it's a clean car. I wouldn't say too spacious at the back. It's kind of hard to show, but the leg space doesn't look too great. Luckily, I'm driving, so I get to have all the leg space I need. There's the mandatory charging cable uh, port, at least. We've got the screen. First thing I need to do is uh, obviously sync the phone and the uh, car. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna try my best to uh, record. I wouldn't be. I won't be too, doing too much of that while driving, so I don't know how much uh, I'll be able to video while I'm driving on the way there. I'm sure I'm gonna come across some beautiful scenery, but we'll see. Got the water bottle out, the snacks out over here. I think we're ready to go. Let's do it.
just arrived. Uh, this is the Cummins headquarters. So I should just pay my meter and I'll be waiting for my sales coach to decide. finished the visit to Cummins here it was it was great I thank you so much mr. Austin Chandler thank you so much to Cummins for having me uh, I had a great time unfortunately I have to rush back to campus because I have to drop the car off by 3 p.m. sharp otherwise I'm gonna get a pretty hefty fine so I'm gonna have to drive pretty quickly so be safe probably little to no videos on the way back I need to get there and then I have to go and TA uh, the CS 159 class that I TA'd last week so I guess I'll see you guys back on campus. Finally got back to my room. Uh, it was a really long day. I didn't update you when I first arrived because I had to drop the car off by 3 p.m. And I think I dropped it off at like 3.02, no joke. It was exactly either 3.01 or 3.02 on the car's clock. And I think there's a $50 fine for any amount of time. Like if you drop it off between one and 30 minutes after your drop off time, you pay $50. Any time after those 30 minutes, another 50. So I hope they didn't find me because I really tried my best. Like it was a, the, 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 it, the time it was supposed to take was an hour and, and 15 minutes. And I think it took me 50 minutes, maybe an hour. So somehow I managed to save like a good chunk of time. After that, I had to TA. Uh, I was pretty burnt out from just like trying to physically make it there without getting a ticket. Um, it was fine and then I grabbed a meal. Just came back to the room. I have a midterm tomorrow, so I'm just gonna do a quick review of the concepts we have. And then maybe if I have the energy, start editing this video. Apologies for the uh, limited amount of content of the inside of the office itself. A lot of it I wasn't allowed to film and a lot of what we talked about, me and my sales coach, I wasn't allowed to disclose. So unfortunately, a lot of this was confidential and even some of the things that are required by my like actual sales class, I can't talk about because it was like behind closed doors and I'm not supposed to disclose it. So there's only limited information that I can talk to anyone about anything. So I was pretty lucky myself to have been exposed to that kind of information. But hopefully, hopefully you guys got at least a glimpse of what it was like to, to see this specific uh, Cummins office. Great office, wonderful company. They treated me really well. Once again, thank you so much, Mr. Austin Chandler, if you're watching this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you check out my college success playlist down here. This has my previous video about my one of my busiest weeks of the semester, so take a look at that. It also has some of the things that I did to be successful in college on different uh, levels. So make sure you check it out, and I'll see you there. Take care.